Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, I'm taking a look at Immutable X. So Immutable X is a um, a scaling solution, what we call a layer two solution, which has been created by uh, the Australian company Immutable. They're, they are the developer of Gods Unchained. Um, and this is um, their own solution to deal with the scaling issues on Ethereum at the moment. So lots of, or pretty much every blockchain game that uses Ethereum has gone through um, a similar kind of thought process and some have gone for um, kind of commercial solutions like Polygon, some have built their own uh, like Axie Infinity with its Ronin um, blockchain and Immutable X have sort of gone uh, somewhere between the two so so Immutable has built Immutable X um, which actually uses some off which uses some other another company's technology called Starkware uses something called um, zero knowledge um, uh, zero knowledge roll-ups ZK roll-ups they call them. Um, it's a complicated technical way in which you kind of batch um, transactions together to make to make them quicker. Um, so anyway, they built their own technology using this um, underlying technology, um, and they're not just using it for Gods Unchained. Um, they're going to be there's various other game blockchain games companies are using Immutable X. So so it seems like it's going to be a sort of like a blockchain that is going to you know have a certain amount of adoption. Whereas I think it's a bit different for. Um, Axe Infinity, where their own in blockchain is just designed for them, at least at the moment. So, so it's all different solutions to the same problem. Anyway, um, so this is Immutable X. Um, so you can, basically how you set this up is you, because um, it's Ethereum compatible, you kind of uh, link your Ethereum wallet. So I'm just using using Metamask here. And I link, I've linked that to my Immutable um, uh, account. So um, the God, if you're playing Gods Unchained, um, you need to go through uh, it's a PC game. You need to download the PC client to play it. It sort of has its its, its own kind of um, kind of launcher, um, kind of a software client thing, um, and, and that's how you you then from there link your immutable uh, you you link your MetaMask wallet to the Immutable X account. Um, so at the moment, Immutable X account is sort of um, I, I guess it's probably custodial um, I guess that will change over time but anyway how it is at the moment so um, we can see here I've got nothing going on here in my Mutable X account um, so uh, I'm, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to deposit some ETH from my Ethereum wallet to Immutable X so you can see here this is my uh, Ethereum wallet you can see it's got some ETH in 0.08 ETH not very much um, how much ETH should I deposit well obviously this, this is a test so let's um, put a, a fairly small test amount in just in case something horrible uh, goes wrong. So um, be paying you know, relatively um, a lot of gas on this, but I'm not doing this to put a lot of money in, I'm doing this to just test it works. So um, here is, you can see the MetaMask kind of pops up and that's for some reason has locked itself out. So <laughs> um, let's go and um, log into my MetaMask. Okay, and now um, I've got this little pop-up um, sort of Chrome link pop up that is kind of asking me to confirm. Um, so this is this is effectively, I assume, the custodial inbuilt wallet um, from Immutable X. So going to do that. Going to do a signature request. Um, going to pay the gas fee. Actually, that's an enormous gas fee. <laughs> so it's more gas fee. Oh, let's just do it. Stop waiting. Um, so I mean, this is the reason people are moving stuff across because the gas gas was very cheap yesterday on Ethereum, and now it's kind of got expensive again. Um, so. Um, Obviously, this now is taking time because this is waiting. I'm waiting for the Ethereum blockchain to confirm um, this. Um, actually, it wasn't too bad at all, was it? But it's, it's, yeah, that has gone through then. Um, so it looks like now, um, yep. So we can see here, um, I've got zero points. That zero zero point zero two ETH is now effectively, I suppose, that sort of a wrapped version of ETH running on the Immutable X blockchain. It's not ETH because ETH only runs natively on the on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, we can see obviously that that value's gone down by that plus the the gas fee. Um, if I want to, obviously um, the point of, of having a blockchain is I can I can move it back the other way. I mean, there wouldn't be any point really in doing that. But if I wanted to, I could move my Ethereum, my wrapped Ethereum from the Immutable X blockchain back to Ethereum. You know, but there's no point having a, a a bridging system where you can only move things one way. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. No one would ever do that. Um, so you have to have the ability to move it back back again. Um, I'm not going to do that in, in this case. Um, so now I've got my uh, my uh, my ETH effectively on Immutable X, and I can now I go to the marketplace, and you can see here um, you know, that I am not an expert on Gods Unchained at all, really. Um, at one point I, I was playing it a little bit, 
um, but um, I've forgotten it all now. Um, so this is the marketplace where obviously people are setting um, stupid prices for, for things. Um, but uh, if I wanted to, I could I could go in and now, um, if I was building a deck, I could kind of look at some of these things and, and think, oh, maybe I, maybe I want a battle, bat, battle priest. Um, let's go and buy a battle priest then. So this is, um, um, yeah, it's just a, a card. So it's a typical sort of a sort of card system where you have um, mana and, 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 and attack and, um, and then a speed, I guess. And then there's a, um, a sort of a ability, gain three favor for each enemy character. So if I wanted to go and buy that, that's fine. I can go and do that. It's going to sign through. Obviously, I'm not using MetaMask now because I'm just. This is all happening on the Immutable X blockchain. So I'm just signing through here. So I'm just confirming that. Oh, it's coming up on here. So it's asking me to um, sign it, but it's not. It's not obviously in, in, impacting the balance on that. Um, I think it's, they just do that as like a separate. Um, uh, as a kind of like a separate check. So um, my purchase is complete. Um, so now I own that. If I want to, I can I can resell it, <laughs> um, or I can go back to my inventory, and now my inventory will show I've got one battle priest um, card, which then I can uh, use obviously in the game if I want to. Um, so I was just, I would say yeah, the, the point of immutable X is is um, something to get your kind of head around. I think um, even if you're not going to play a lot of Gods Unchained, because there are these games, um, um, Guild of is it Guild of Guardians, Guardian of Guilds. Guilds of Guild of Guardians at the school um, is is using it and actually being published, I think, by by um, Immutable uh, Illuvi Illuvium, um, another sort of interesting game uh, um, in development um, from an Australian developer is also also using it, and so I think I think it'll be a bit of a sort of momentum for people putting games on on Immutable X. So it's kind of worth spending the time to set up your wallet, I think, and maybe you know um, transfer. A bit more ether cross if you think you're going to be sort of uh, dipping into some of these games. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this is Blockchain Gaming World, where we spend our time trying to make sense of this kind of crazy new stuff that's happening. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channels. Uh, if you, please subscribe to the channel if you are interested. Uh, but thanks for watching this video, and see you again soon.